Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some very, very intriguing news because we actually have Sony themselves doing a little bit of a sneaky PlayStation 5 upgrade. And now, instead of doing like a little bit of a sneaky upgrade that happened as of last night, if you guys saw the fact that the PlayStation 5 had a brand new firmware update, this is actually something more so to do with the hardware, and more specifically with the PlayStation 5 controller. Now, this has actually been kind of been somewhat making its rounds throughout these past few days, so I figured I wanted to go, wanted to go talk about it. Because we've actually seen a little bit of negativity, but also some positivity in regards to some brand new PlayStation 5 controller upgrades. And I'm sure you guys usually know when it comes to all these consoles, one of the biggest selling points has always been for the PlayStation 5 is the controller. The haptic feedback and everything else involved with the controller itself, basically making the controller feel more alive and making your games more immersive, have always been a very big selling point, especially in regards to the 3D audio. Which basically kind of just goes to showing how well the PlayStation 5 ecosystem as a whole does, just in general, which is a very nice ecosystem. A lot of things kind of bounce off each other and kind of goes pretty good. But like I want to go and mention is that we actually did go and see a very intriguing and special upgrade that was ever never actually announced. So I kind of going to go over what's actually involved with it, what kind of big changes are involved, and as well how you guys actually can basically go and get. If you guys are in the look in the market for some brand new controllers, so a lot of stuff to go talk about. Make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on, as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc, digital console, and the controllers. We even mentioned Twitter and Twitch as well down below. Sign up for that Weeble, sign up for that Coinbase, and definitely use that Twitter link down below for the giveaways we keep on mentioning for all of you guys out there. So. Let's go and talk about it. So as I mentioned, we actually do have a pretty good solid controller nowadays when it comes to the PlayStation 5 controller. Although the controller has been out for about like over a year and a half or so, so every now and then some upgrades are kind of overdue. If you guys do remember as well, a lot of PlayStation 5s also went through kind of a big upgrade saga where they changed the internals, changed the heatsink and everything else. And while at the end of the day, some people were skeptical, I think it did end up being a very nice and productive thing where we haven't seen any major issues or old school consoles or all that stuff having issues as of now. So I think at this point, we can kind of safely go and trust that Sony will always be kind of working towards something nicer, better, more efficient, and probably has a good reason on why they'd want to go and change things in the future. So for this, this. As I mentioned, we actually have a brand new PlayStation 5 controller upgrade. So, kind of intrigued. We're actually going to show you guys up some clips too as well. Going to talk about this a little bit more in depth. And if you guys want to go get one, this is more so for the future controllers. So, they have the Nova Pink, Galactic Purple, and Starlight Blue controllers, which will be coming out in the very near future. And or already have kind of came out, depending if you guys want to get it on Amazon or PlayStation Direct. Quick reminder too, you guys can go buy these on the PlayStation Direct too as well. So, kind of cool stuff. So, basically, great news for PlayStation 5 gamers who have recently bought or intended to buy one of the brand new pink, purple, or starlight blue controllers. Because we actually have a secret change over here from Sony. These joy pads have been secretly changed and sport, sport a couple of different parts. So basically, whatever controller I have in my hand right here is going to be different if you guys buy one of the newer ones yourselves. And it looks like these changes have actually made for a better controller. We're going to go dive into a little bit more in a second. So as the PS5 controller changes were revealed by YouTuber Tronic Fix, which actually did a brand new teardown. If you guys don't know, that's just basically, obviously, tearing down the controller. You basically just remove everything. You see the differences. You see the parts. You kind of basically have a chance to see the electronics, the motherboard, all the basically internals, motors, engines, angles, whatever it is to have a chance to go and see. And now, kind of this is like the big list, and we'll show you guys a quick little glance to in a second. The new controllers actually feature upgraded back and left right button springs. So that's basically just like, for a lack of better terms, I'm sure you guys see, for the controllers themselves. Now, why is this good? Why is this bad? At least to my knowledge of this, this is really nice because if you have a thicker spring, number one, it should in theory also have better feedback but on part two would also ideally be a little bit more wider, so it would have less chance for it to break or have any issues with it. And that has been somewhat of a small issue. Like, there's been two major issues when it comes to the controllers recently. Number one is people stabbing, like, the spring. So basically, you're playing your game, you maybe go push down a little bit too hard, or just maybe you're an active gamer, and then either the controller itself breaks or the internal spring breaks, like the little engine inside of it, and then it renders your controller useless. And as well, we've also been kind of seeing slowly issues, and I may want to cover these a little bit more in depth in the near future, because we've been seeing them pop up a little bit more, but also controller and Joy-Con drift. I want to say Joy-Con, because a lot of Nintendo Joy-Cons kind of popularized it a little bit more as of recently, but basically that's just when their controller is perpetually like this, even when you're not holding it. So your character's always moving left or right or up or down, and just kind of messes up with your controller. So those are kind of big issues, because if you can't utilize your controller, you can't You maybe use your right analog stick, or just your perpetually character is always moving to the left, it's not a good sign, because that basically means you can't really play the game as fluently. So in theory, this should also kind of minimize these issues, because with a slightly bigger spring, it should make everything a little bit flow a little bit better. 
a little bit more chiller, have better feedback, and as well, maybe hopefully last a little bit longer. As well, though, not a lot of folks will be able to go tell if you actually be able to go and change the actual thickness for it, but like I said, it should just be better for durability and better for consistency. And as well, for other various updates, too, is also the spring thickness change. So overall, they are kind of looking like they're kind of changing the uh, basically evolution of the controller, which is nice. The Teardown also revealed that the new controllers had a slightly also different, funny enough, analog stick module construction, which also may hopefully help out with the same issue I mentioned with the controller dripped, with a black piece of plastic swapped for a near identical green one. Although, as of right now, as you guys know, the change is not yet known, but it's speculated that it'll be good to help mitigate this stick drift, as we kind of covered up here in a second, too, as well. And also be really nice to see these new generation DualSense controllers basically just being nice and utilized. And, you know, overall, it's just nice to see. Like, you can definitely go and find two things after a year or two, or having a few million different people play test the consoles and controllers, because as that kind of goes and comes on out, you get more information, you know what works, you know what doesn't. Maybe you have to go and fix like 100,000 Joy Con drifts, and then you're like, okay, we know what the issue is, let's go make it better for the next next rendition too as well. Also funny enough too as well, we'll kind of show you guys all in a second, they also revealed the new controllers also have a slightly different internal layout too as well in terms of its main boards and chips. So it actually does have different internals, different hardware, different motherboard, and all the other various things tied on in. So all those kind of stuff too, it's kind of intriguing to see this as well, because I'm in the same boat, kind of as the article maker over here for T3, where I like the idea of new changes. I like the idea of things kind of messing around. I like the idea of them improving stuff, because especially if they're trying to go and sell stuff, you know, they're trying to sell it up on Amazon, they're trying to sell on, you know, uh, the actual website itself, I want people to have the best bang for their buck. I want people to go make as, like, that have the best product, and especially if you're kind of overcharging slightly, and it's also two years later, I think we kind of deserve a slightly updated rendition. So it's actually a really cool upgrade for Sony. I'll give them a nice little thumbs on up. So like I said, Tronics Fix actually had a chance to go and showcase up some of these things, so they had a chance to go and basically take apart the controller itself. So I'll give credit towards them. But like I said, the big kind of thing more is all definitely up on the more right triggers, as you guys can see, and as well also the over onboard itself. And just a little bit of a side note for me, because I'm not the most technological advanced person when it comes to this stuff, is that I think it's so intriguing to be able to go and see on how in-depth these people can, and also the fact they can even go and re-put this together. Because if you guys are like scrubbing, I'll give, give you a million dollars if you can put together a controller, I would have absolutely no idea what to go and show you guys. But as I mentioned, it does kind of show like the internals are slightly different. The actual analog system themselves slightly different and then here's a side-by-side -side comparison i believe to the normal controller of an other previous generation controller which is still similar in terms you can still see some of the various chips and microchip sets of it and all these semiconductors we can never go and find <laughs> they're just in everything nowadays but as you guys can probably go and tell just from the compare the top and bottom, it is a completely different layout when it comes to the controller itself. And as well, these are also some of the other various things too as well, where they actually do have the controller uh, basically analog sticks that are also slightly on the slight change mixed up for here. And once again, it's very nice to go and see because we want to go and have a better controller. We want to have a more sought after controller. We want to have a controller that actually goes and works. So I always have to give a lot of credit to the folks out here that actually go and have a, like the technical know-how to know how to fix this and find it and see the differences on this one. Because if you guys would have even gave me the previous PS5, I would have been like, wow, it's heavier, and then that's probably about it for me. <laughs> wow, there's something maybe different in the middle for that one too as well. So we also like, you guys can kind of see that a chance to kind of do a little bit more on the in-depth look and kind of review for all the other internal stuff with it. And so far, everything that people have been seeing for the brand new controllers have been a good sign. Everyone's been saying it's been nicer. Everyone's been saying it's been better. And so far, uh, I believe a few folks have had a hands-on for it so far. I think all the initial reviews have been all around pretty good. Like a big thumbs up from everyone. So this is what I like to go and see. I like seeing better upgrades. I like seeing Sony putting their money where their mouth is. I like people getting better products. And as well as I mentioned, if we had the console for quite a while, it's always nicer to go and see better improvements. So... So you guys can kind of see more of the nanometer mixed uh, to as well, and everything else tied on in. So for this, I kind of want to hear your thoughts and comments on this down below. It's nice to see this. It kind of does make me feel a bit more comfortable in my future PlayStation 5 controller buy. And as well, if you guys are going to be buying any controllers, whether in a few weeks or a few months, let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, it's kind of always kind of cool to have a chance to go and see this and utilize this, because like I said, I want you guys to have the best possible features. It's kind of like just a, ah, it's just kind of cool. I do like the idea that we have better options out there available in case you guys want something new. We'll have to see if it's going to come back to now the future controllers too as well. So say you buy a PS5 six months from now, we'll see if they also improve that on the normal base hand controllers, and we'll keep you guys in the loop for that too as well. But make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc digital console controller. We have the Twitter giveaway down below. 
In case you guys do want to be a part of the PlayStation 5 giveaway down over there, as I mentioned, always for the Twitch stream. Thank you guys always for stopping by there. And as well, we have the Weeble and the Coinbase. Make sure you sign up for that one. And of course, like I said, give me your thoughts, give me your comments, everything down below. And we'll give you guys more details and news all throughout the rest of today. Love you guys all so much. I'll see you guys upon the next one.